Welcome to the self-paced SP4420 Fiber Optic Infrastructure Specialist Course Overview. The Comscope Infrastructure Academy uses an online learning platform to provide multimedia delivery of challenging curricula and embedded assessment over the Internet. It successfully prepares students for networking and infrastructure-related jobs in the public and private sectors, as well as for higher education in engineering, computer technology, and related fields. This course will suit anyone involved in fiber optic communications from those specifying and designing through to actual installation. It has been designed to ensure that the student understands the emerging and ever-increasing market for fiber optic communications, how fiber transmission works, and all the components involved. This includes looking at fiber types, connectors, apparatus, termination, design, losses, installation, planning, inspection, and testing to provide a comprehensive education of all areas involved in a fiber infrastructure from start to finish. In this world of ever-increasing bandwidth demand, fiber is the solution of choice in most areas, and this course will help the student have a greater understanding of its place in the market. Accompanying this course are videos that are informative and show various processes such as fiber termination, cleaning, inspection, and even if you are unlikely to ever physically do any of this practical work in your current job role, understanding what is involved is very important to help assess timings in a project. This course comprises of 28 webcast modules forming 11 lessons making up a total of 7 hours learning material. But remember, it does not need to be completed in one session but can be taken over a period of time to suit your schedule. With over 10 years' experience in online training for the infrastructure market, we deliver cost-effective training to students of all levels and expertise. People learn at different speeds and have different areas of expertise. We put the student in control of the pace of their learning and at the heart of the training experience. It is no secret that classroom-based training can be extremely costly. Not just the instructor costs, but also travel expenses, accommodation, and other expenses. But most importantly, the cost of lost productivity while the workforce is away on training. Our online format reduces these costs dramatically, enabling the student to learn much of the technical material online, and using that knowledge to gain real-life experience on the job. The same online courses are delivered to thousands of students around the globe. And because the courses are all delivered the same way, you can be certain that certification is to the same high level. Anyone who has completed one of our online courses has access to the course material for a period of two years after the course is completed. And during this time, we'll receive updates. It is a continuous learning platform. Should you wish to print sections for reference, this can be done by using the print function in the webcast player. Our material is also translated, so if you'd prefer to view subtitles training in one of the many languages, then you can by selecting a language in the webcast player. Finally, the training is available on whatever viewing device you prefer, whether at your desk on a PC or on the go on your tablet or smartphone. To ensure you have understood the content of the course, there will be timed assessments at the end of some of the lessons or groups of lessons, which if successfully completed will provide you your course certification. These can be found in the course assessment area where you will find there are nine assessments for this particular course. This system is automated and will give the results at the end of each assessment. You will find there are five questions in each which have informative answers and allow for second or third attempts. Obviously, the more attempts you have at a question will decrease the overall percentage. An indication is always given upon completion of each assessment, so you can judge if further study on the topic is necessary. We strongly recommend that each lesson is studied in turn, followed by its assessment, to gain the most from the course. But once you decide to start a particular assessment, you must complete it. 
Customers and consultants frequently request that certified personnel are used on projects. It is also becoming more common that a higher percentage of technicians on site require recognized training with a method of validation and certification. Successful completion of this course will result in students gaining a certification from a globally recognized company. A photo ID badge will also be provided for relevant training courses. Students are able to request a badge once a course is completed and the certificate is ready to be downloaded and printed. Click where you see the Request Badge button, upload a passport-style photograph, and submit your request. Many networking and cabling professionals work hard to earn credentials from industry organizations such as BICSI and SCTE. In order to renew these credentials, students must periodically submit proof of completion of approved courses that count toward the renewal of their credential. If you are a member of BICSI or SCTE, Comscope Infrastructure Academy courses are a cost-effective method for earning continuing education credits, CECs, or recertification units. As our industry evolves, the Comscope Infrastructure Academy is committed to providing you with quality, effective training, a program that can help you develop your skills, increase your self-assurance, lower your costs, and improve your career prospects. For employers, effective training leads to improved employee retention and a more skilled workforce, plus offers differentiation in an increasingly competitive market. That completes the course overview. Make sure you review the revision notes for this course, which you can find in your overview download area, as this contains the very latest notes and comments for the course material. You may then proceed to Lesson 1.